Not sure how I feel about that statue. Oop. Every time. Should probably move those. <gasps> what time? Guess I'll figure that out when I go outside. I don't think I've slept that well in... months, probably. Oh. All of them are here. What's going on? I can see it in your eyes. You've seen the land of the gods. And returned. Does this mean it is done? Is Alduin truly defeated? <laughs> He's as dead as I can make him. Then it is done at last. Perhaps it was all worth it in the end. You've shown yourself mighty, both in voice and deed. In order to defeat Alduin, you have gained mastery of dreadful weapons. Now it is up to you to decide what to do with your power and skill. Will you be a hero whose name is remembered in song throughout the ages? Or will your name be a curse to future generations? Or will you merely fade from history, unremembered? Let the way of the voice be your guide, and the path of wisdom will be clear to you. Breath and focus, Dragonborn. Your future lies before you. Thank you, Angir. As though I didn't... <laughs> So I haven't cried enough this week. Uh, and I still get lost going around here. I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna go what I'm gonna do is go down to White Run. Oh. I guess I slept in. This is gonna be a fun run, isn't it? Do want to try something though. Where's White Run from here? Right down there. All right. Actually sure what that did. Oh well. Right. I kind of want to stop by 
my little tree house also. What will I do? That's a good question. Expeditious way to get down a mountain if you just Ooh. Fine. do that. Ugh. Oh, gods. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Ugh. Gives me the willies every single time. the quickest I've ever come down this way. I'll do. Oh. And it's... They've got lanterns up over there. Interesting. River was deeper than I thought it was. There we are. Well, yep. Oh. There you are. Hawk friend. Now then, let's see if I still have it up here. I do. Perfect. Don't want to walk around with Pelinal's shield anymore. Speaking of names that have been cursed for generations, or uttered as curses, I don't remember what he said. Something to that effect. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do now that I know. I speak now in royalty and reshape this land which is mine. Not sure what that means, other than the this land which is mine bit, but what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> I guess Arngir really is right. I it's up to me what I do with it. I have the voice. I have the power. I guess. Power to do what? Good question. Beautiful. Foggy, but beautiful.
Um, hello? What's all this? Oh, thank you! Uh, for what? What are you all doing outside of town, anyway? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> You're just gonna follow me, is that it? Thanks a lot! Okay. Bjorlem? I think. <laughs> uh, this is... What is this? <laughs> I'm suddenly surrounded by children. And... Fog. know why I'm being followed by small children? What is this? Another wanderer, here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Oh, you're the Jarl's kid. Oh, thank you! One of them, anyway. Uh... Hello? You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Yes, that would be me. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. Ah. Uh. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. What? What are you on about? Ouch! Hey! Uh. Why are they hurting oh, okay. Me? Yeah, that's right. Back up. Don't worry, I got him. What was that? That's a... That's a great question. Uh... I have two questions. <laughs> Same as the first one, and also... Why am I being followed by kids? Well, it's, uh, kind of a special day. You did just save the entire world from Alduin, didn't you? Yeah, that's fair. Dunmer. What is this? I was going to come down here to tell you, you I was. Looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know. Even if you are my elder. I, I'm looking at. You, you probably shouldn't be around, Braith. Uh. Right. I was going to come down here and tell you I was glad to see you made it back, but I think this is more important. I think you're right. They both? Both Dunmer. What is going on? What's a Mirak? Or, I guess who is Mirak? What? Uh, one of them had a thing. Where did it go? Where did I put it? Board the vessel Northern Maiden docked at Ravenrock. 
Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Kinua Almerzine before she reaches Solstheim. What? Return with word of your success, and Mirak shall be most pleased. By the Yellowmaker. What is it? Probably nothing. Thanks yet. a lot! Come on, let's head up to Yorvaskr, get you a drink, celebrate, and then we'll talk about old Skull legends, eh? Yorvaskr? Me? What's the purpose of a mead hall if not for celebrating, eh? And we've got the best mead in Whiterun right now. After the last batch from Huntingbrew came back. It, not great. Need something? Uh, yeah. I need help taking care of these bodies, probably. Don't worry about it. Alright, fine, I won't worry about it. The, uh, good meat sounds great right about now. What is all of this, anyway? How did you... Oh. <laughs> uh, how did you know that... <coughs> well... We all saw the dragons gathering on the mountain after you flew off with that big red bastard. Odaving? Yeah, that one. Well, the rest of the companions and I stayed up vigil all night. Speaking of which... Looks like Vilkus and Varkus are, uh... Enjoying the festivities. Yeah. Uh... Uh... uh huh. That's a mess. Alright. Thanks. <laughs> <sighs> so, the story goes. About half past when my eyelids were starting to close and... Well, we got some reinforcements. You don't sound especially pleased about that. Well, we had a bit of an argument with said reinforcements, but ultimately we worked something out. We needed sleep when they didn't. The vigil continued more or less uninterrupted. We really... didn't have to... Actually, we really did. It's not every day one gets to see just how many dragons there are now. It was a spectacle, if a scary one. Heard they were forming a dawn guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Hey. With man? Ah, they can barely tolerate our presence on Earth! Give me a second. Today, they take away your faith. Heimsker. Of... You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. No, I've come to tell you to shut up about Talos. Leave him, Kimonoa. It's not worth it. And what does the <sighs> Empire do? Nothing! Nay, worse than nothing! The Imperial Machine enforces the will of the Dalmor against its own people! So rise up! Rise up, children of the Empire! Rise up, Stormcloaks! Embrace the word of my... You okay? He who is both man and I'm... Yeah, I'm fine. It's just... It's nothing. I didn't take that long, did I? Up there? You really didn't need to hold a vigil for me. He yeah, took a couple of days, maybe. I wasn't paying much attention to the time. All I know is that I was sound asleep and actually resting for once when the dragon started shouting about it. Alduin Malan. We could hear them clearly all the way down here. They all stood out on the back deck of Yorvaska watching them fly off. Alduin is slain, etc, etc. Wait, you speak the dragon tongue? No. But I know someone who does. Come on in. Surprise! And congratulations on your Sorot Kongra, Ismir. Or should I say... Congratulations. <laughs> wow.
Wow, and you thought my jokes were bad. What are you doing here? All three of you. How are you here? You're all... And where is Say Test? Where's Mordgood? Mordgood's in Soul Slime, I think. She was, last time I checked anyway. As for these three... Vilkus recognized me and... Well, we did offer to help Stan watch. I seem to be alright by him. Ayella wasn't happy, but I can hardly blame her. Anyone who isn't... Uh... Anyone who wasn't there when I helped fight off some silver hand don't realize what we are. Zaytest and her big blue friend were making an absolute killing selling potions in Windhelm last I heard. It's good to see you again, Lady Ismir. Just... Kinoa is fine. I don't think I've ever seen your eyes like that before. Come on! I promised you a drink. You three drink. I'd take a mead. Absolutely. So, you two aren't trying to kill each other, I notice. On the Dragonborn's request, of course. I still don't trust you as far as I could throw you, Imperial. No offense. None taken. The feeling is mutual, but not terribly important or terribly relevant. Well said. And you've met Miss Gold? Seems too polite and a little slimy to me, but yes. Britannic heritage. I'm afraid it does leave its marks. You seem like good company, though. Smarter than you let on. Wiser, at least. Racing children will do that to a person, with luck. Alright, what say you? Cheers to the dragonborn, and to the world not getting eaten. Cheers! Cheers. So, did you really go to Sovngarde? Wait, what? You did what? Yep, I really did. Got to see Shores Hall, walked the Whale Bridge, fought soon for kicks and giggles. Not in that order. It was... Beautiful. You sound... sad. You alright? I don't know. I think so. It feels... I don't know. Everything feels different now. Like... Like I'm more real than I was before, but also less. I'm real, but... Not me. Not entirely. Death does have a way of changing people. That's not what I mean, Arden. I think I know what you saw when you read those scrolls. Wait, I've missed something here. So, you actually did get the scrolls you were looking for, right? Yes, and took care of, as it turns out, both of the bastards who were looking for ways to black out the sun. Does that even work? <laughs> Be damned if I know, and I ain't about to try. So, that bow you're carrying? Yep. Arden, you look like you've seen one more ghost than usual. Care to explain? You saw Shaw's hole. I did. His throne? Up close and personal. Wait, isn't Shor supposed to be, like, a dead god? Was he there? As I said, I saw his throne. Up close and personal. Seat, back, armrests. I could probably describe the carvings on it well enough to draw. I'm not surprised you found it empty. Shor is just Lorcan with a different name. Oriel, or Akatosh, or Trinamac, depending on who you ask. Ripped his heart out and tossed it somewhere. Of course he's dead. Yes, and that's exactly why I went very pale and very quiet when I realized that we currently have in our possession... It's okay, Arden. That's not what's bothering me. Oh, good. I think. I imagine that must have been more of a shock to you than it was for me. You two might as well be speaking dragon at each other right now. Care to explain for the rest of us? I... It... it was a shock to see in person. Breathtaking. It made me question everything I've ever known about myself. Still am, actually. Questioning some things. I feel like there's so much more I need to learn and like... I, I don't even know what to do with myself now. I feel like I belong here now, but... I don't know what to do with that. Well, you're back now. You've killed Alduin. You've become a hero to Skyrim, if not the rest of Tamriel. You belong here, even without all that. 
Thank you, Yarnvita. And I agree with the Imperial for once. Death changes a person. You're not the same young woman that you were when you left. <laughs> That's for damn sure. You have no idea. It's only been a few hours since you came back, Lady Kinua. You'll probably be a bit off for a while. It's perfectly normal. Thanks, but seriously, just Kinoa is fine. Apologies, it's the Breton thing again. I'll do my best to contain it. So what happened to that shield you were carrying? The big shiny one? Oh, I, uh... I left it up at High Hrothgar. It reminds me of... Let's just say it means something to the people who recognize it that I don't want attached to myself. I'm a different person now. I hope. You are. Don't worry about that part. Thanks. And, yeah, I kind of feel the same way about this armor, actually. Blade's armor. Actually, it's Akaviri-styled Lamela- Arden. I don't cut you off much, but... <sighs> right. Sorry. <laughs> it's alright. You're right. But it's still Blade's armor, and after what Delphine asked of me, I'd rather go find my old plate than keep wearing this thing. I'm sure between Yorland and I we could come up with something better than your old plate. Get Adrienne on board, too. I'm sure she'd be glad to pitch in. Just give us a design. Oh, hey, and if you need someone to enchant it, I know a guy. <laughs> Hidden talents. Just when I thought I knew you. My thesis was actually an enchanting project. You're looking at it. Alright, but it'll be a few days while we actually, you know, make the armor. That's fine. I've got some business up at the college, but I'll circle back around after. What are you thinking, Kinoa? We're really doing this, huh? Okay, well, if I'm gonna be riding dragons... <laughs> riding dragons. Now I've heard everything. If I'm going to be riding dragons, I need something a little less... bulky. I like these pauldrons, but they just got in the way up there, so... Something solid, strong, would ideally be able to take a bite from a dragon or an axe from a bandit without caving. And since I'll be using a shield, not too heavy on the forearm? Sounds good. Something strong but close-fitting. We could probably match your shield if you want. Yeah. Close is good, but if you could make the chest part one solid piece so it doesn't stick out like this one does. At least not as much, anyway. Sure, we could do that. If you want to stay in town or nearby the next few days, we could all work something out. How about that? I wouldn't stay at the Pannered Mare tonight if I were you. Oh? Noise, for one thing. I take it you'd actually like to sleep this evening. <laughs> That's true. And don't worry, I've got a little place up on the hill between here and Riverwood. Something tells me no one will suspect the Dragonborn of all people to live in a tiny shack up in a tree. You're always welcome at your vasker, but I see the logic. Some of the younger folks here are a little bit rambunctious at times. I've got business tonight or I'd offer to walk you home. I, I don't need an escort. You will if you keep drinking. Or if there are more of those cultists around. We'll do it. Dom and I, I mean. What's this about cultists? A couple of Dunmer in masks and odd robes attacked me when I came into town. Apparently they think I'm a false dragonborn and that there's some Mirak person who will come back and do... Whatever it is Miraks do. They picked a good day. Come in and catch the dragonborn off guard in the midst of a celebration. They did succeed with that. You were going to tell me a story, Arnvita. Aye. Mirak is an old Skull legend. Goes back as long as there have been Skull on Solstheim, I'd wager. My father used to tell Storn and me all the old stories when we were both knee-high to an ash hopper. The Woodland Man, the Blood Moon and the Nerevarine, the... The Skull have stories about the Nerevarine. Really? It wasn't that long ago, Arden. I was just a girl when all of that was happening, but I remember hearing of the Nerevarine. Oh, Mora, I might need a moment to get my head back on straight. I hate to tell you this, hun, but, uh... <laughs> Wait. Are you two... As I was saying... 
In Ska Legend, Mirak is called the Traitor. It used to be taboo to speak his name for fear he'd be summoned back to Solstein. He was a powerful dragon priest, as the legend goes, but he was also power-hungry. He turned to Hermamora, the darkness full of eyes, and plotted against the dragons and other dragon priests. The traitor was eventually confronted by the Guardian, and the two of them shouted at each other and fought for so long that Solstein was torn apart from Skyrim. The Guardian eventually defeated the traitor and was only a moment away from striking the final blow when Hermamora stole him away. The Guardian swore an oath of vigilance that day to watch for the traitor's return. We all thought they were both just a legend, but the Nords thought that about Alduin too, and here we are. Oh great. More world-ending darkness for me to deal with. It's just a story, Kinoa. I think what's happened here is that those cultists saw Alduin's return and only thought the traitor was coming back. You really believe that? When did you leave Solstein? A few months ago. Then you probably know better than I do the kind of arcane mayhem that's going on over there. How about you, Lopdeer? You know, my old friend from the College of Whispers? Your ex? That one. Should have known it couldn't last. The two of you can't go five minutes without devolving into some kind of argument. Yep. True. Sorry. It's fine. My, my, I don't think I've had this much fun since the Wayrest incident. Never heard that one before. Alright, kids, settle in and let me tell you about a roguish corsair, a jealous vampire, and one very special bottle of the finest Colovian brandy, which may or may not have had a little extra punch. Oh, this should be good. Oh. What the... Uh... Oh! <laughs> That's amazing! Yes, now you know why Inrath, uh, came in. Sorry. I kind of forgot we were in the middle of a... <laughs> it, it's fine, there's no one around. Now you know why he was saying maybe you shouldn't sleep in White Run tonight? Yeah, no kidding. Uh, let's get out of here before the kids notice some things. Not a bad idea. Is there something I can do for you? That's actually kind of Yeesh. All right. Excuse me. You're the best. Can you be my mother? What? Uh, I don't think so, kid. I'm the least motherly person there is. Oh, good. Yeah, let's get out of here. Having some issues, Arden? Uh, well, if by issues you mean... No, I'm, I'm fine. <sighs> Much as those fireworks are pretty to look at, <laughs> I'm not sure I could spend much time around them. Oh, I know that feeling. So, uh, I'll wait until your little entourage is far enough behind us before I start talking. Yeah, that's fair. That's a good point. Good idea. Not like any of them would believe a word you say, but I see your logic. Probably should have that out if we're gonna be... Running through the wilderness at night. Like an idiot. Well, if you can't see, we've got two... Uh... Four eyes between us that can? <laughs> no, I'm good. 
Eh, we'll take the long way around, since I want to talk a little. They're gone? They're gone. Yeah. I was kind of waiting to ask before- uh, until that god got far enough behind us. Yeah, just considering the nature of the discussion involved. Yeah. So... You know, then. Yeah, I do. What are you two talking about? Uh, just, uh, close your ears for a bit, Dom. <laughs> or, or follow a little farther behind? I don't know. I'm bringing up the rear, it's fine. So yeah. I know. I- I know... who I am. Who I was. Yeah, that's, uh... That's what I figured. And yes, that is what I saw in the scrolls. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured, too. Everything all right? Yeah. At the ancient Nords, and probably modern Nords too. They call them Kinds Lights. Oh. You know I wasn't actually aware of that. You're right. No, Arden. I'm not all right. I'm. I'm questioning everything about myself right now, and... I don't know what to do about any of it. I'll get home and get some sleep would be one thing, I would assume. Yeah, I probably shouldn't stand around talking about things in the middle of the road, huh? Well... Yeah, but... If... If you ever need to talk, all three of us, I, I think, you can come to any of any of the three of us, me, Dom, or Ingrath. It's true. I may not know the nature of your struggle, but I will do my best to listen. If nothing else, my trade is in secrets, so... Thanks. Oh. Uh, what happened there? <laughs> I have no idea. So, yeah, the- I'm- this is not how you get up to anywhere. Cool. Oh! Sorry, I figured you went up the short path. I got lost. It's fine. I was just- I was just saying- Knowing everything now. It explains a lot. A lot, a lot. Hi, okay. Uh, something wrong? Can- can you not see this? Uh, see what? 
that. Uh. No, uh. Oh. Um. I still don't see anything. Yeah, you wouldn't. I've got my eyes on. So that's interesting. Yeah. And now you both know where I live. Honestly? You could do so much better than that. Yeah, I probably could, but... This is home. Well... Kind of. Hey... Thanks. For what? Just thanks. I... <laughs> I want to actually talk to you about this someday. I understand. We're uh, the company, huh? Yeah. You're a good friend, Arden. Which is weird, because we don't know each other well, but you're a good friend. And you get it. And also, congratulations. Uh, on... What, exactly? Ingrath? Uh, yeah. Thanks, it kind of came out of nowhere, and um, I'm still a little... all over the place. You'll be fine, Arden. Come on, you and I have work to do. Alright, I won't keep you two from it. Have a good night. You too. I'll do my best. I'd... I'd give you a hug or something, but... I'm not really a huggy kind of person. <laughs> Suits me fine. I'd rather not be... in closer to your neck than... reasonably... Uh, you know. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Actually, no. You take care of him, because I know this idiot will not take care of himself. Hey. I will do my best. Have a good night.